What is going on to all my Apple TV Plus fans out there and welcome back to my channel. We are back today to discuss this third season of C, episode 5, which was titled The House of Enlightenment. And in this episode, we see brother versus sister. We see Sibeth manages to fool them all and we see that a war is finally coming. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. So excited to be back with you all, breaking down this fifth episode and spoiling everything. But before we get into today's topics, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any of my daily content you can also give your boy a follow on instagram tiktok and twitter all those links can be found in the description of this video and speaking of this video give it a thumbs up as well as share it it would mean a lot to me and i appreciate the support but more importantly after you've seen this fifth episode we got to talk about it, right? Let me know your pros, your cons. I'm going to say it right now. I much more prefer episode five over four, and we'll get into my reasons why, but let me know your thoughts, your theories, and what you all hope to see in the weeks ahead. With all that being said, let's get into the breakdown. Full spoilers ahead. As we open this week's episode, picking up immediately after the events of last week with the remaining witch finders asking the important questions to Sibeth. Why should we follow you after your previous events and after all the pain you have caused and in perfect Sibeth fashion, her response, let's talk about it. She tells them after discovering that her sister was alive and she's opening her heart again, Magra and the children bewitched her. And she goes on and talks about being tortured for nine months and being away from her baby. And the God Flames plans is to test her to make sure that she's the rightful person to be on the throne. I was laughing my ass off in, in a good way because I'm like, of course she would say that. And then in perfect fashion, the real believers, the real witch finders take up her lies. They listen to her. They believe her. Of course they do, right? But I'm going to be honest with you all. I can't think of that main leader that's like the main guy of the witch finders, at least the remaining of them. Something's telling me that he's just going along with this because he's clearly outnumbered. His friends, his family has just went back into her lies and went back into her trap. But I think it's going to come down to him ultimately not really siding with Magra, but I think he's going to end up probably getting back on her side because something's going to probably happen to June or he's going to help June out take down Sibeth. I could be 100% wrong, but I think that's where they're going. Let me know your thoughts on that. But more importantly, when she was telling all of them that she was bewitched and she had this spell on her and now she's back, she can see again and get back to what she believes in. She, the ultimate manipulator. Now, she wasn't in the episode a lot, which was kind of a criticism I have with this episode, but they make up for it when we get to the House of Enlightenment. But let me know what you all thought of that opening sequence, and do you think that that main guy is going to switch up and end up betraying Sibeth? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. But now on to the best parts of this episode. As we head back to the House of Enlightenment, we see Tormana sends this search team to find the rest of the children. Meanwhile, Ren and Charlotte and Lou manage to take them out with ease as we go back to the camp with Baba and the remaining team. Behind the doors, creating booby traps, they got all their weapons, including a gun. Now, going back to Charlotte and Lou, that scene, that was just the tip of the iceberg, y'all, because the action, we're going to talk about it in a second, but the action was top notch, and we're going to tie back to that crew a little bit later. But let's let's get into some fun moments here. Now, let me know what you all thought of this scene between Baba and Ranger as he's talking about how does Baba manage to sneak up on him, and then Baba responses, Without getting too graphic, there's a particular part of Ranger's body that slaps on another part and his knee pops every time he walks. I got a good laugh out of that. Let me know your thoughts on their, their banter. But more importantly, is it me or do they have the best chemistry? Like, I love Ranger and Baba Vaz. You all know a couple weeks ago, I'm like, yo, can we trust him? But obviously last week, he's been tortured and Baba and him are like brothers. Their chemistry is fantastic. But more importantly, them as a duo fighting people. Chef's kiss. Let's get back into the breakdown here, but on a more serious note at this moment, it appears that Tormana has a eye drop that seems to, and let's speculate, let's talk about it. I don't think it gives him full sight, but I think it like heightens his senses. Let me know what you all thought of, because it didn't appear that he can see things, but it seemed like he was kind of moving differently and sensing things differently. I could have read that completely wrong, but let me know if you think those eye drops are going to be able to allow people to see or enhance their kind of senses and kind of give them more things that they can kind of sense around them. Let me know your thoughts on that and what you speculate on those eye drops in the comment section. But back into the breakdown, I'm going to be 1000% honest with you all. When we get the scene of Ranger, Hanawa, and Baba taking out those first wave of men, especially the shot of Baba Voss, 
putting that sword in the soldier's mouth and twisting it, I damn near lost my mind. Now, I know we've been kind of criticizing some of the writing, some of the, the season so far feels like they're running to the finish line. The stuff that would take a couple episodes to really sit in and dig deep in and really kind of sit in a scene, they seem to be kind of running through this season. One thing that has been 100% consistent with this show, the fight choreography. It's some of the best fights. It is so brutal, and I love every second of it. But again, I want to go back to the duo. When we see Baba and Ranger, their chemistry is off the charts. I almost wish that he was more in the first two seasons, but I get that he's a new cast member. But he is absolutely fantastic. And again, these fight sequences are off the chain. As we get back into the breakdown, as we're playing Welcome to the Jungle, and we see Baba and Ranger doing their head count, and we see Ranger has seven kills and Baba has six Fantastic stuff going on here, but I will say as far as in this fighty moment, if I were to nitpick, I wasn't a big fan of this scene here. I found it to be actually incredibly stupid. As we see Hanawa, she gets pinned and, and Sheva, Shiva has to save her with the gun and... I'm just thinking to myself, Hanawa, you're not your brother. You're not Cole Fool. You're trained. I mean, you are excited. How did you end up getting trapped? Again, it didn't lead up to anything because she ended up getting saved. But I'm like, that's a Cole Fool move. How are you doing this, Hanawa? As I digress, speaking of Cole Fool, we see him, speaking of the devil, taking out six or seven men on his own. Meanwhile, the bombs are being securely recovered. And we see Harlan ends up betraying his close friend or girlfriend or lover, whatever you want to call her. His men come in and, and wipe out the rest of those men. Fantastic scene. But I want to go back to Harlan. I told y'all last week. We can trust him. I never doubted him. He was just playing a part of the game. He takes out the girl. It was a nice little intimate moment. I do wish that she would have maybe lived and maybe been able to live a life with Harlan, but she was just too deep into the game. But I told y'all, Harlan was just playing the game. My boy came through in a clutch. But again, I want to. I don't want to brush over the fact because I will always be bashing Cole Fool. I like that moment. He manages again. He's shown us he's skilled. He's talented. He can hold his own. I really do like that scene. But let's get back into wrapping up some of these amazing scenes here. I love when Baba Voss is choking Harlan and he gives him the plan of action. And this is where we find out again, we got to head back to Paya. We got to prepare for a war. But again, Baba and Harlan, again, you talk about chemistry. I'm the biggest Baba Voss fan. He has great chemistry with anyone, but him and Harlan, their exchanges are always golden. But let's wrap up this episode as we see that we recruit one of Harlan's best fighters and Baba burns the House of Enlightenment down to the ground and all the knowledge in those books. And I'm going to be honest with you all. I mentioned how I didn't like that scene with Hanawa. There's another scene I didn't like with Hanawa. When her and her brother are fighting, now, to be fair, this is, it's been leading to this. We know that they have tension. They have beef with each other. They are just, this was bound to happen. The execution to me was lacking. I didn't like the acting, more so from Hanawa. Like when she's trying to get through the door, she shoots the gun. And even Kofun, when him like, are you going to kill me? Like it was a little, the, the acting was just too turned up for me. They needed to, It wasn't natural. It seemed like it was forced. So I will admit that that was probably the weakest scene for me. And we'll talk about that follow-up. But let me know how did you all feel about the acting. And, and again, I understand the sentiment in the scene, because it's been leading to that, their tension, and she obviously wants more of the sight of it, she wants more of the knowledge and all that, but I just felt like the execution just didn't work for me. Let me know your thoughts on that as we get back to the breakdown, the connections back to Hanawa and her feelings towards the books and her position on site, and we ultimately see her saying her goodbyes to Charlotte, which I will say, it kind of made up for that scene I was just talking about because I love Charlotte and I love their back and forth and their chemistry. We know that Charlotte and Ren are going to take the kids back to safely. I hope Charlotte comes back because I love that character so much. But she says her goodbyes. She says her goodbyes to Shiva. And Shiva looks at her and tells her, you know, she's like, I'm so upset that the books were burned down. And she has a surprise for her. She looks at her and says, there are more. And we end episode, which I'm assuming that that really kind of implies that there's more places that have knowledge, that have more books. And I ultimately think if Hanawa survives the end of the season, which I think she will, she's going to probably go and find those other books of knowledge. And again, maybe those eye drops people can see now. We'll see what comes of all of that. But Ultimately, I really enjoyed this episode. Again, the character moments from that we get for Harlan coming through in the clutch, the moment with Sibba getting all those people to get back on her good sides, which I do think that that guy's going to turn on her. But ultimately, y'all, the booby traps, the fighting, Baba Voss twisting the sword, him and Ranger's chemistry, 
fantastic. Now, again, as far as next week goes, I think we're going to see them. I hope, and we talked about it, they if they just end up in Pia overnight, I'm going to be a little bit upset with that. I do hope that there is still a journey to be had on the road of them going back to Pia. The, again, them getting on the same page, them having the conversation, Hanawan Kofun having the conversation, Baba Voss talking to his kids about, I could die and I'm willing to die for you all. You know, I want to have those moments. I just don't want to jump right into the action next week, but let me know your thoughts on this episode. What worked? What didn't work? What do you hope to get in episode six? You all are always awesome. I appreciate the continued support. A friendly reminder, if you're still here in this video, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hope you all are staying safe. Hope you had a good time as I did. As you can see on the screen now, come and join the community. Check out my other reviews for C. Check out my most recent review, and we'll catch you all on the next breakdown.